Hi everyone, today we're going to study a method of proving theorems, and this is proof by contraposition. This proof by contraposition or indirect method is a method to prove the conditional statement P implies Q by using the logical equivalence not Q implies not P. The proof by contraposition consists of three steps. Step 1, we assume that not Q is true. Step 2, show that not P is true. And then, we conclude that not Q implies not P. And this is equivalent to P implies Q. Let us see example 1. Prove by indirect method that if x plus y is greater than 5, then x is greater than 2 or y is greater than 3. First, let us identify the propositions P and Q respectively. The P is the statement x plus y is greater than 5. Proposition Q, x is greater than 2 or y is greater than 3. Using indirect method, our purpose is to prove that P implies Q. And that is, we must show that not Q implies not P. The step 1, we assume that not Q is true. Going back to our propositions here, and not Q is equivalent to the negation of this statement here. Next step, we are going to change the word OR into its equivalent symbol, and it's now like this. For step 2, let us show that not P is true. It means we will try to simplify the expression here and hope that an expression of not P is derived. Let us rewrite this expression into the negation of the statement x is greater than 2 and the negation of the proposition y is greater than 3. This is by De Morgan's law. When we simplify this negation of x is greater than 2, that is equivalent to x is less than or equal to 2. And then we write the symbol end. Now, this expression negation of the y is greater than 3 is equivalent to y is less than or equal to 3. Now, let us add the two inequalities. The x and y added together, so we have x plus y less than or equal to 2 plus 3. The 2 plus 3 becomes 5. This expression here can be written as the negation of the expression x plus y is greater than 5. And this proposition, in fact, that not p. So we are able to show that not P is true. Step 3, we conclude now that not Q implies not P. Since we are able to show that not Q implies not P, therefore, P implies Q. This is the final answer. Example 2, prove that if n is an integer and 3n plus 2 is odd, then n is odd. Let us identify the propositions P and Q respectively. P is n is an integer and 3n plus 2 is odd. Proposition Q, n is an odd integer. Solving this by indirect method, we will show that 
not Q implies not P. Step 1. Let us assume that not Q is true. Our Q here is N is an odd integer. It follows that the not Q is equivalent to N is an even integer. Since N is even, we can show that N equals 2 times K, where this K is any integer. Now step 2, let us show that not P is true. The not P can be simplified into 3N plus 2 is even. Using our equation N equals 2K, we will substitute the value 2K for this N. So we have now 3 times 2K plus 2. The product of 3 and 2K becomes 6K plus 2. For this right side, there is a common factor of 2 and let us factor it out. So we have now 2 times the quantity 3K plus 1. We can simplify the 3K plus 1 by substitution using any variable. Let's say M. So 2 times M. This M is equal to the 3K plus 1. And this value is an integer. We are able to show now that this 3N plus 2 is equal to 2M. Where this 2M is the general form of an even integer. And this is equivalent to the proposition not P. Step 3, we conclude that not Q implies not P. This means we are able to prove that not Q implies not P. In words, we may say, if N is even, then 3N plus 2 is even. This is actually equivalent to the compound proposition P implies Q. If you write this in words, that is the very same problem that we have here. We say that if n is an integer and 3n plus 2 is odd, then n is odd. So this statement here is our final answer. I hope you learned something from this video. See you again next time.